About one month ago, I made a video in which I reacted to very bad songs that I made when I was a kid. Very bad. Some of them were alright. Some of them hurt my ears. Today, we're gonna be doing that again, but with a completely different set of songs that I picked out. Let's see if my 13-year-old self was a good producer or not. Before the video starts, I have an official Instagram page that I'd like to share with all of you. On this page, I'll upload random videos that I feel like uploading, and also notify you guys whenever I post a video. Currently, it only has only about 9 followers, I think, so let's show it some love. I'm leaving a link to it in the description below. If you have Instagram, go follow it, please. Now, please enjoy the video. I I'm begging you. Please. Here we are, we're back on this uh, website, BandLab. Um, this is where all my songs are, as you can probably tell. First of all, why the fuck is my camera so grainy? Why is it so gr- is Slenderman in my room right now? What the hell? I don't know why my camera looks so grainy. I did I'm not doing that on purpose. We'll just say it's for the aesthetic. It's for the aesthetic. That's the reason. The last song we were on in the previous video was FNAF theme song, which I remember being half decent. First song we've got here is Scary House. Um, <laughs> I wondered what the lowest harpsichord note sounded like. It was a great idea. That's a very coherent couple of sentences there that definitely uh, explains what we're about to listen to in the song. So this song was made in September of 2020. It's almost like four years old now. It's like a month off from being four years old. Let's give it a listen. Let's see how good this shit's gonna be. Okay, there's that harpsichord. Ooh, okay. I'm starting to see where the scary part of the title comes into play. This is a very spooky track. Reminds me of Halloween. Oh. Oh, it all went silent. That was scary right there. Oh. Oh, yes. This track makes me feel very evil. So it just sounds like it's this, like, very simple melody being played on the harpsichord. All right. Oh. The hell was that? Hold on. Play that back. Was that a mistake? Bro, you're playing like three notes in the entire song. How did you mess that up? Hmm. Beautiful chords. Oh. Okay. He's actually hitting some of the chords. Part of the song sounds kind of decent. Oh. We got a uh, we got music theory go on. Chord progression. I, I don't know. Okay, um, so the entire song is just seems to be a harpsichord. Okay, that that's enough. Would she? What the hell is that? I feel like it, I feel like it could have used more instruments than just one harpsichord playing like three notes. It was a bit boring. I mean, it matches the title. I could imagine this song playing in like a scary house. Just imagine you walk into a haunted house and there's just one guy like pressing like one note on a harpsichord over and over. That would that would be pretty scary, I think. This song is called Incognito. The description is <laughs> incognito mode. <laughs> Incognito mode, get it? It's <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. That actually sounded good. Not to toot my own horn, but this sounds pretty good. Sounds like something out of- Okay, wait a minute. This sounds too good. I I'm getting suspicious. Bet you a hundred bucks this was made using a looper. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, this shit was made using a looper, which means that I, I just pressed a button and it played the song for me. I didn't even write the song. <laughs> Speaking of which, holy crap, I forgot to rate the songs. That's like the whole point of doing this, rating the songs. Okay, we're going back to Scary House. I'm giving Scary House a one out of 10. It was, I mean, it was, it was all right. It could have used more instruments. For Incognito, I'm giving it a negative 10 out of 10 because I did not make the song. This song is called Chaotic. It gets gradually less chaotic and weird. Okay, thank you, Sir Sandman, for telling me that. This one has a whopping four likes. Must have done pretty well. And was made within one day of the previous song we just listened to. So all of these songs were made, like, by the hour. There's like a hundred of these. Oh. No, thank you. Oh. Oh, no. No, please stop. Please stop immediately. Please, please, bro, please stop. Please, please stop. Please stop, stop molesting your piano, please. Please stop playing piano and jump off a cliff. 
Okay, this bit's, this bit's all right. Imagine I'm in one of those videos where they're like, hey, what are you listening to? And I'm like, I'm listening to Chaotic by Sir Sandman and they just play this. This is gooning music right here, bro. Oh, it's kind of following a bit of a melody now. He did say it gets gradually less chaotic and weird, so maybe that's, like, it starts off like, <laughs> Oh fuck. It starts out like random, and then it gets less random. Still sounds really bad. This just, this just sounds like Alpha by C418, hold on. <laughs> Wait, this is this is literally just Minecraft music. Hold on. Well, that was uh that was chaotic. I'm gonna give that a negative five out of ten. It, it technically didn't hurt my ears to listen to. It just really hurt my my patience. This one's called Stone Cold, and I think it's a um a cover of that song of the the final boss theme from FNAF World. Let's give it a listen. The piano's a bit poorly mixed. Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh, okay, no. No, that, that, that did not go well. So it's just the song Stone Cold on piano with a weird synth in the background. The thing is, the song is not really that interesting if it's just playing, it's just like going up, I think like a, I don't know what scale, but just going up like three notes and then back down. It's not really that interesting. I'd give that a zero out of 10. This one's called Pinwheel Funhouse. Another song from FNAF World. This was kind of weird. Okay, even he admits that this is kind of weird. So uh, let's give it a listen. <laughs> uh, already love that organ. <laughs> this this really this really is the Pinwheel Funhouse. You couldn't play both of them at the same time. I think it has like the first part and this part in the original song playing over each other. But no, he just chose to play one melody at a time. Oh. It's also kind of out of time too. He hasn't missed any notes yet, it's just... <laughs> okay, N now he's just making shit up. This, this, this was not in the original song. As you can tell, I'm a very big Pinwheel Funhouse fan. I, I have that song on my workout playlist. I listen to that while I'm pumping weights every day. Yeah, that one was all right. It's definitely better than Stone Cold and Chaotic. I'm giving that a two out of 10. Um, he kind of got, he kind of improvised it toward the end. <laughs> the song is called Breaker Taker, making looper songs on PC. Oh, okay, this is made with a looper, great. It's a lot harder than on mobile, but I came up with some pretty cool stuff. No, you didn't come up with some pretty cool stuff. What you did was you took some loops, you slapped them into band lab, and you called that a beat. That's not a beat. You gotta actually write the beat yourself. <laughs> Bro is not Mike Dean. Yeah, you see, this sounds all right, except for the fact that I didn't make it. Even though this is a generic ass beat, bro. What, what? Sounds like something Chance the Rapper would rap over. Yeah. You know me, I got all of my hoes, and we make lots of dough. Yeah. Hey. Oh, we got the submarine on the beat. All right. Hey. Hey. We be swimming in the water, and it gets. A lot hotter. Hey. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. We're changing up the beat. Hey. Oh my God. I can't keep up with this. It changes beats like every two seconds. Hold on. I know I can freestyle. Give me a second. Hey. I make lots. Of what the hell was that? I'm trying to rap and it just did that shit. I make lots of cheddar. I make lots of money. I make lots of money. I make lots of money. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? How am I supposed to rap over this with all these goofy sound effects? Make lots of money. You know that's not funny. I kill lots of guys in the streets. When I kill these guys, I always beat my... What? What? <laughs> what is going on? I love how I commented on my own beat here. I said, nice beats. Thank, thank you, Sir Sandman, for your, your input. Okay, now this is starting to sound like music that would play in a quickbait YouTube video. Wow. 
Yeah, you're, you're not wrong about that one. Okay, I think I had a bit too much fun with that one. That was Breaker Taker. I'm giving it a negative 10 out of 10 because it was made with a looper and therefore not made by me. I really got to stop doing that. This song is called Melancholy Melon. A sad song I made. At least it sound, at least is sounds kind of good. Okay, um, this is supposed to be sad, which has got me worried. Let's try and maintain our composure while listening to this. Okay, so right now it's just kind of a piano. Piano doesn't equal sad, you know. It, is it just these same three notes the entire song? Oh, no. No, stop playing that chord. Stop playing that... Okay, now... It, he's just doing this to annoy me now, isn't he? He just found the worst possible chord and pressed it like five times. This is why we need music theory. Wow. This is so sad. I'm literally crying right now. I'm actually shedding tears. Okay, for real though, he is just playing the same three notes. That there was Melancholy Melon. I'll give that one a negative two out of 10. It, it honestly just, it kind of failed at, um, at a lot of stuff. <laughs> it failed a lot. This one is called Not A Creepy Pasta Song. The fact that it has Creepy Pasta in title has me very uh, hopeful. I was gonna say worried, but no, I'm, I'm hopeful. This is gonna be my best one yet, I know it. A creepy little song that I made that was inspired by Pokemon music. Then that made me think of creepypastas. Oh, this is a Pokemon creepypasta music, even better. I've never even played a single Pokemon game. How did I, okay. 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 Uh. It's a bit off. <laughs> Just a bit, like. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on, this. The fact that it's a little behind the beat makes it sound a bit more funky. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think creepy sound effects. Bro, is Slenderman in my fucking room right now? What is this? I swear to God, this song is haunted. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, now we got the, the, the acoustic guitar solo. This, this kind of goes a bit hard. Just a bit hard. Just like me right now. Oh, he just threw his hands up and went, oh, random, random shit, go. I don't like that synth very much. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that, that one was actually better than I was expecting. By no means was it good, but it was better than what I was expecting. I'm gonna give that one a two out of 10. It had potential, but it, it honestly just sounded kind of goofy. This song is called Secret Castle. Let's, let's see what the Secret Castle has in store. Sounds like something from a video game. Awesome. Oh. I swear to God, that's, hold on. This is that song from Undertale. This is the um, the weird lab. This is the secret lab song. Wait, hold on. This is just a medieval version of the secret lab song. That's honestly kind of funny. I like the more calm sound of this. I, I was getting a bit tired of like the, the like sharp, like booming synths of the previous songs. This sounds like, this is like meditating music. I could, I could like, I could chill to this. It does kind of give off the like, it's, oh. Okay, it was chill up until this point. Now I had to bring in the weird violin. 
Dr. Giggle Touch, get off my beat. I was possessed by the spirit of, like, DJ Doodle Whacker or whatever his name was. That was Secret Castle. It kind of ripped off Undertale for the first part, but um, I'll give it a 0 out of 10. It's not, like, offensive to the ears. Uh, it's not offensive to the ears until the violins came in. I'm giving it a negative 1 out of 10. Final answer, negative 1 out of 10. This song is called 2020. I, th I think I remember this one. It was supposed to be like I was making a theme song for 2020. I love the amount of peaking on the little thing here. Tell it's going to be very pleasant on the ears. I'm going to turn my volume up. Mmm. A lot of bass. This is very ominous. <laughs> it sounds like something uh, Dr. Giggle touch would. Wait, that's the fucking. Hold on. That's that's Sigma's theme from Overwatch. I I know I know where you got that from. I know most of these sound like it, but this sounds like something that you would see like Dr. Giggle Touch post. I don't even know if anyone knows who that is. It sounds like I'm just saying random words. Allow me to give you a quick history lesson. Dr. Giggle Touch is a producer on Instagram and TikTok who posts videos of his songs, and the punchline is that they sound like this. Yeah, that that's that's who I'm that's who I'm referring to here. And then this is the end uh, credit, the um, ending cutscene music from FNAF. Yeah, this isn't even my song. I didn't write this. I just throw two video game songs together and call it a day. I took two video game songs and I started farting straight into the microphone for the bass. That's that's what the that's what that noise you're hearing in the background is. Oh, is that it? <laughs> it just cut off before it got to the climax there, okay. Okay. The, the pacing of the notes is a bit awkward, but I, I can see where this is going. This sounds like a like a, a cinematic version of Unity by the Fat Rat. I <laughs> So I took 3 songs, mashed them together and farted into the microphone over them. Okay. I give that song um a negative 20 out of 20. Just kidding. I I'm going to give that song um I'll give it a 1 out of 10. It was kind of it, 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 in theory, it could have been good. In execution, it sounded very weird. The song's called Me More, Rainy Night, a song I made for a Roblox game some of my friends are making. I think I remember that. One of my friends tried to build a Roblox game and they asked me to do the music for it because uh, I was like, I was making this stuff. They heard all that previous junk I made and thought, yeah, we want this guy to do the music for our game. Oh yeah, so the game was never finished, um, I think, or it was never really started, but this is what could have been. This would, this is what could have been the music of the greatest Roblox game of all time. Let's, let's have a listen. Turning my volume down, because that's very loud. This is the song from the boys. Wait, hold on. I mean, it's not the same, but this is, um, this is, what's it called? I can do anything or whatever it was. Yeah, this is, this is that violin song from the boys. I wrote it before the, well, actually the show came out before the song was made, but I, I wrote it before it became a meme. That's his. How the hell did I do that? I'm such a visionary. I wrote a song that already that didn't. I wrote a song that already existed, kind of. This is this is like the same general idea. Oh. I was not expecting that. Was not ex. I don't know why I just did that. Just imagine that scene of Homelander having a mental breakdown, but this song is playing over it. Honestly, that this song is better at this song. 
feels more like he's going insane than the original song does. I mean, this, the actual song, of course, is way better than this, obviously, but just, Im just imagine that, that. That makes it sound more like he's going insane. Professional AAA Amazon show, and then they just put some random MIDI wackiness over the music. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. That song gets a two out of 10. This song is called Unleashed. I think I made a second version of this that sounded better, but this is, this is, um, this is a song. Let, let's give it a listen. It's 38 seconds long, but rest assured there's a better version of this. Mmm. Says it uses the song that plays at the beginning of Despicable Me. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about time that I get my way. Steam rolling wherever I see. Uh, Despicable Me. Yeah. <laughs> Very anticlimactic there. Hmm. Okay, just for reference, this is the better version that I made. Let's let's give it a listen. It sounds kind of weird, but it, yeah, it's better than the last one. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm having a bad <laughs> That, 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 I just wanted you guys to hear that. I, I just needed, honestly, a break from the, from the terrible music. I'm giving Unleashed version one, um, a solid two out of ten. The worst song ever, loud noise warning. So I, I'm guessing I just threw up my hands and I was like, yeah, I don't care. I know my music sucks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that my whole thing. Let's go. Jesus. I don't know how that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting one of the synths to be playing in one of my ears. Oh, I love this. This is so good. I don't know what to do. This is giving me a sensory overload, hold on. I can faintly make out some of the noises. I can hear like a harpsichord in my right ear, a piano is like just pressing every single note at once. And for some reason there's like a woman screaming in my left ear. This is what hell sounds like. And then just has that. <laughs> oh my god, don't play it again, please. Honestly, um that song was like not great, honestly. I think I think the worst song ever uh, might actually be one of the worst songs that I've listened to in this series. So I'm gonna have to give it a negative ten out of ten. The song is called Meme War, Don't Say Your Clothes. I think this is for this is for that same Roblox game from earlier, so let's give it a listen. I still have my volume turned down from that last song. Da -da 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 -da. Just skipped a beat there. That was weird. Okay, this one's all right. This is a very awkwardly long segment with the hi hats. Okay. Yeah, I like the elevator music. Why do all of these have to have a violin? The violin does not sound good. What is what is what what part of the game would this play in? Alright, that was Don't Say Your Clothes. I'm giving that one as I'm gonna give it a one out of ten. I didn't really understand it, but I, I feel like someone probably could have. 
Oh, God, I just found one up here, the Unus Honest song. Oh, no, we have to play that at some point, but we haven't gone to it quite yet, but we'll get there, don't worry. This song is titled, Have a Good Candy Bar. Late Halloween spooky music that turns into electro music that turns into somber music. What? That's an interesting description. Let's, let's give it a listen. Oh, yeah, this is super Halloween-y. What is it with the Halloween music on this? I think we've come across two different Halloween songs. This is Halloween. This is... Oh. This sounds like a sample. I don't think I wrote that chord. Oh. Uh. Uh. That's the only thing I could say in reaction to this. Uh. This part is all right. Dun, dun. That's all right. Oh. Why, why did he use the riser like 10 times there? Oh. Okay, that part's kind of groovy. Never mind, it's not groovy anymore. Also, what does this have to do with the first part of the song? <laughs> Wait, the first part, what? This was supposed to be a Halloween song. What happened? Spooky music that turns into electric music that turns into somber music. I think we're at the somber music part. Okay. This part's actually all right. This shit is boring, bro. Okay, now it's just kind of going into insanity. Okay, that's that's enough, bro. That's enough of you. Okay, for have a good candy bar, I'm gonna give that a... I'll give it a 2 out of 10. No, 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. It was... There was, like, a small section of the song that was good. The rest of it was just kind of random and, like, wasn't really going anywhere. Uh... This is the song that I've been dreading playing this entire series. I was like, at some point I'm not to play this. <laughs> I'm scared. This is the Unus Honest song. And you'll notice at the bottom here it says the lyrics. That's right. They're singing in this one. <laughs> so this was a song that was made after the YouTube channel Unus Honest uh, died. If you don't know what Unus Honest is, um, you probably will never know. Anyways, it died. This was a song that was made after it died. And um, I don't know, just, Let's just listen to it. Sort of sad man on the beat. Never ever wish oh, you God. Take too long and your time is up. All our past is nullified. All your memories will corrupt. God. You could have just gotten someone to sing over this. No one asked you to do it yourself. I have nothing to say about this. It speaks for itself. Anyone who doesn't know what Unis Honest is is probably very confused right now. Good, just stay confused. Making a cake with unspeakable toys, eating our weed and gummies, oh boy. How many hot dogs does it take to make our sanity go away? Peace on the sex and Oh, stop whispering, please. Please stop whispering. You could tell he was singing it quietly to avoid anyone hearing him singing. Nowadays, I could just belt this out whenever I want. I'm gonna do a cover of this song, you know? That's what I'm gonna do. So many moments to remember. It goes 
miles away on the 15th of November. Well, I don't worry. Moon is honest. Well, I don't worry. Moon is honest. All right, that was the Unis Honest song. I could probably remake this if I wanted to. Come on, hold on, give me a sec. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Fuck. Hold on, I, I, I got this, I can, I can do this. I was able to play this four years ago, not now. I know it was on MIDI, but still, it's, it annoys me. Hold on, I'm almost there. Yeah, give me, give me two minutes. There, that's good, that's good. We're done here. I'm giving that song a solid four out of ten. It was honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it, it wasn't good either. Unus Honest Song Remaster may or may not be coming. Don't don't count on it. Anyways, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching this, make sure to leave it in the comments, and I might do it, just do another video. Anyways, like and subscribe, follow the Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye